It never ends. Every year, I see dog food being put on the recall lists for whatever reasons. Whether if there's aflatoxin in the dog food, salmonella, or deadly mold, dog food has been responsible for killing our dogs, slowly or quickly. And a quick Google sh search will show you that dogs are dying from dog food. Now, if you love your dog like I do, we can't have this. So what is the answer then? What are we going to feed our dogs? Well, go back to Mother Nature and the answer is a raw diet, just like hum Mother Nature intended. Now, if for ever, whatever reason you can't do raw, you can always try doing a home-cooked diet. Um, this is not a tutorial by any means. This is just what I do for my dogs. And we end up commonly doing both raw and home-cooked. In this video, I'm going to show you how we make our own blend of raw. <clears throat> this process took us four hours, but for your convenience, I have narrowed it down to just a few minutes. So here's a knife that I got on Amazon. It works really well. And I have multiple proteins here. I have herring, sardines, beef, chicken, pork, venison. This is our grinder that we use. And it will do small bones like chicken bones, even though it's not rated for small bones. And we've been using, we've done this before. This is not our first rodeo, but we maybe have never done this much at one time. Uh, I am doing voiceover and not letting you hear what's going on in the background because we were playing music. So I don't want to get copyrights. But as you can see, we're basically just mixing all the proteins together. One thing I did learn after we've done this process, this was the first time I think we added fish. From talking to some experts, you shouldn't add fish into a mix like this because <clears throat> the fish can actually rob the other meats of thiamine. But this is just one batch, so I think we'll be fine. Fish is really, the small oily fish is really good for your dogs. You don't want anything like trout or anything that can create, uh, absorb a lot of mercury but yeah so we just everything is clean we just grind it into this tub now we have all of this meat that we've been storing in our freezer the majority of this food is actually going to be chicken and if you're going to do something like this you want to make sure that the chicken does not have any saline or broth solution because you don't want to give your dogs any salt whatsoever um, there's enough plenty of naturally occurring salt in the meats and here, <clears throat> this is the majority of what I did, was I cut up all the meat so that it could go through the grinder. This is the chicken, and everything goes in, including the bone. That's important with a raw diet that you stick to a specific percentage. Here's the meat. I'm just going to show you me putting it in the grinder here, bone and all, and it goes right in. A little push, and grinder, no problem. And as you can see, the meat is ac accumulating. <clears throat> so here's a piece of venison. And we had to have quality control, test the product to make sure that it was okay. And it did pass the test. Shadow says yes. You didn't see this part, but Titus also said yes. So now I'm showing you that just more herring. <clears throat> and uh, I basically cut meat that was semi-frozen for four hours. My back, my feet reminded me of this <laughs> after the fact. But we love our dogs and we would do basically anything we could for them. So my husband and I are both on board with this. He thinks it's the best. I think it's the best. You know, it's personal choice. But having seen all the recall lists and the t all the stories I've heard of dogs dying from dog food, whether it be immediately from some sort of toxin in the food or over time getting diabetes or some other kind of cancer, we find that raw is the best way to go. Now we don't have a, we don't have a professional setup. We don't have a professional mixer. So Gary is going to be our mixer today. Um, and it's not exactly <laughs> perfect, but it doesn't have to be a daily, your daily diet doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's balanced over time. And what I have found is that the meat, the raw process should be 80% muscle, 20%, <clears throat> I'm sorry, 80% muscle, 10% veg, 
bone and 10% organ meat. And of the 10% organ meat, it's best if only 5% of that is liver, if you can find the other organs. Sometimes they're hard to find though. So we kind of only had liver to work with. Sorry, my dog is, is uh, distracting me and I really don't want to do this voiceover again. Um, so basically he's just mixing everything up and the best that we can. And you know, remember that we're kind of exhausted at this point. <laughs> We've been cutting semi-frozen meat for hours and now we still have to package it. But first we have to mix it up. So it's just a blend of many, many proteins. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I almost had a hernia. It's heavy. It was really heavy. It was over 150 pounds. And I'm weak. <laughs> so here, Gary is just rinsing everything off. And now I'm getting a... Um, a scale oh my god shadow really right now you have to do that uh yeah animals are always around me um so i'm basically just weighing out the meat now it's not perfect but every bag is around five pounds obviously i'm patting it down so that it's flat so it'll fit into the freezer for storage and this took up a good bit of time and it was really cold gary was filling the bags by eye and he got it pretty close to five pounds almost almost each time I have to give him props for that so basically <clears throat> excuse me I'm just flattening out all the bags weighing them making sure they're about five pounds each and because I have a puppy and this is the first time I'm doing raw with a puppy I'm not entirely sure how long this is gonna last it, it seems to me like each bag currently will last us two days to feed my mastiff puppy and my chihuahua so here i'm just stacking them up stacking them up and um we ended up having 31 five pound bags which is 155 pounds of raw meat And this is my freezer. Please don't judge. This is a raw freezer, so it's just for raw food. But the bottom is all bone meat, and then we've got cooked meat, and then we've got the meat that we ground, and then we've got some pre-made stuff that I purchased before. So that's it. That's the tour. That's my how we do things around here. We're constantly learning and growing and changing, but for right now, I feel like this is the right way to do things, and I don't feel at all like this is dangerous i feel like this is the proper way to do this lots of people have turned to raw and i would suggest that you can reconsider what you're feeding your dog and think of maybe either going raw or home cooked if you do those things please do your research though don't just take my word for it please do the research so you know that your dog is getting a good diet thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye